Hello everybody, welcome to the animated character. This is a project I've been working on for quite a long time that had paused uh, last year in 2019 and now that I'm off um, during the pandemic and also trying to help everybody do a good job on their group projects, I decided to bring it back and really finish it and I've spent a lot of time coding this over the last few days so if you've been wondering where I've been uh, and why I haven't posted some of the things I said I would, it's probably because I got a little too wrapped up in this, but I really wanted to get it out there so you guys could experiment with it and start learning it. Uh, Alright, let me demonstrate this for you. Alright, so here is uh, my demo scene. Now my demo scene has um, a world that I've created simply to demonstrate how this works. There's lots of commenting, especially in the animated character class itself. So if you are the kind of person who likes to get in there, get your hands dirty and figure out how things work, the animated character class, as well as the example players and enemies that I've created, sort of gives you examples of how everything works and all the APIs there. It's very descriptive and you can figure it out. I've also created um, a set of tutorials. There's two videos, one of which is ready and being uploaded as I'm speaking. Uh, and they are a little bit long, but if you like to sort of take things uh, one step at a time and, and learn by watching a video of somebody going through it, then that resource is available for you as well. Anyway, let me demonstrate this. So I have, this is my complex, you'll notice there's actually two players, simple players there. You can switch over to simple player. It is a somewhat easier way of coding the way it's put together. The complex character has more features. You'll notice this is uh, currently following my mouse when I'm clicking. There is the option to also use the keyboard, so I can stop using the mouse for a second. Let's get off and I can use the keyboard for movement. But, uh, my character can run, so if I hold the shift key, you notice he speeds up or walks, runs. Uh, and you notice that those white skeletons, one of which seems to be stuck on a wall right now, um, those white skeletons can chase after me. So every once in a while, they'll either start charging in a random direction or charge at me. Yeah, they don't attack me yet, this isn't quite that advanced, but uh, there you go. There he is, he's charging towards a point where I was a second ago. So that is, um, that is my animated character class in action. You'll notice that these um, animations are done, they're fairly smooth. Let's go kill one of these green guys. Um, the animations are fairly smooth. And the reason is that this is time-based animation. So it's keeping track of the uh, number of milliseconds that have passed and using that to affect smooth movement by adjusting the rates at which things get animated and move. The problem with act-based animation, which is very popular in Greenfoot, is that acts are not always created equal. And for lots of different reasons, uh, some acts can take longer than others. And so this sort of works out that factor. All right, so just a quick tour. We have the animated character. That's the bulk of it. You'll notice that all of the classes that um, are animated characters inherit from it. So for example, if I open up complex player, it says complex player extends animated character. I'll pull that over here so you can see it. Complex character extends animated character and that's why it shows up under animated character. If you don't extend it, it's not going to have all the features of animated character. This template here is to show you the basic uh, things that have to be in the code and explain them. The template itself will not run. It doesn't do anything. It just sort of shows you the elements that have to be there. We have a simple player shows you the easy way to do things. A complex player shows you the more complex, but also the more customizable ways of doing things. So if you want more control, the complex player will show you how to gain more control. Whereas the simple player says, if you're new to this, use these methods. They're fairly easy to use and there's less, there's less to learn. Um, the question is how powerful do you want it to be versus how simple do you want it to be? Charger is the skeleton class that runs towards you and enemy is a pretty dumb enemy class that just walks in any random direction just to sort of demonstrate how that could be done. Anyway, these resources are already available online. You'll find links in the description here. If you are in one of my classes and I've asked you to watch this, please make sure you download the project, open it up on your computer, start playing around with it and start thinking about how you could implement this in your project.